I can't believe it's oh, wow God. it's been raining I mean it's really pretty I love Charleston I can live here except for the hurricanes I don't like the hurricanes it's how you talk when you when you're from Charleston Charleston oh, that's a terrible Charleston accent did you know that different people of South Carolina sound sound different depending on what what part of the state they're from it's very true but I do love Charleston it's one of my favorite places ever. Charleston, Savannah, which is in Georgia. Um, then of course we have London, the UK, which is, can't get away with a Southern accent there. I try to do my uh, British accent when I'm out and about, but I don't think people are too impressed with it. <laughs> so what are some other favorite places? I don't know, I love the mountains. <sighs> I'm more of a mountain person than a beach person. So, but anyway, but yeah, it is just kind of rained all day, um, but I really didn't feel like going. The ghost tour is a 90 minute walking tour. I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm so done. It's not been as hot though, because it's been raining, which is kind of nice, but Charleston in the fall is lovely. Any place in the fall for the most part is lovely, right? That's not lovely. That's annoying. I mean, your green car. That is a green car. Why? Why, sir or ma'am? Would you have a car that color? No offense to anybody out there who has a car that color. Good for you. Um, anyway. This is just... This American flag. God bless America. Land that I love. Stand beside her, and guide her. Thank God Joe Biden is now our president. Anyway, oh my goodness, y'all. I don't really have anything to say. This is just kind of random. I haven't been keeping up with AD. What's he up to? I'm sure he's being a creep. What else would he be up to? Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to give you an example sometimes. Like you can be on a trip, be doing really well, and then anxiety can hit and you don't want to do anything and so it's been a good day and then it's like, i mean i've been on a ghost tour in charleston many many times before but i was like i don't want to do this i don't want to be around people i just don't i'm over people i really am over people in general at the moment um i find them drain do you know just sometimes find people draining just really draining sometimes this guy's pretty though Although, let me say, for the few of you who watch, y'all are not draining, y'all are lovely. And I appreciate the kindness and compassion and just all the the nice comments that y'all leave. Um, but yeah, sometimes I get overwhelmed by people. I really do. I would have made a terrible counselor. You know, my mom wanted me to follow in her footsteps. I was like, but then she's like, nope, you'll get burnt out too easily. And it's true because I, I care too much. And I don't think, I think in order to be a therapist or whatever, you can't, I mean, you can care, right? But you have to be able to put up walls and, you know, keep your distance and maintain a level of professionalism, which I wouldn't do. I would burn out really easily and uh, it would have not been good. So sometimes being empathetic is a blessing and sometimes it's a curse. But, as long as people are struggling and suffering, we should do what we can to help them and make the world a better place. So, but some people are just freaking toxic. And then, if people are toxic and they're wearing you out mentally, then there's something to be said for self-care and walking away. You know? So, anyway, that's all I gotta say about that. Until next time.